So back in April of this year, a fatal flaw was discovered with all PlayStation 4s known as the CMOS battery issue or CBOM issue. Now just to reiterate, and for those people that don't know, this issue has to do with the battery that lives inside every single PlayStation 4. The battery itself is used to track the internal system date and time, and this is used to verify if games can actually be played. So what happens if the battery dies then? Well, it simply loses its ability to store the internal system date and time and will reset itself back to zero. Now, Sony has implemented security measures to stop users exploiting the system, or more specifically trophies. And they did this to stop users setting the system date and time back in time to make trophies appear earlier than they actually did. So what actually happens in this scenario is an error occurs when trying to access trophies of a particular game and the game will simply stop playing. So what this means is if your CMOS battery is dead on your PS4 and you have no connectivity to PSN to synchronize that system date and time clock, then none of your games, physical or digital, will ever work. Now that is a pretty big deal. Right now it's not really a bad thing because PSN is still active. And even if you do have a dead CMOS battery, it will always synchronize the internal system date and time clock with PSN. But when Sony decides to sunset the PlayStation Store for PS4, and they will one day, then you're effectively going to be left with a doorstop. You'll have a brick and this will become e-waste and the console will be worthless and you won't be able to do anything with it. None of your games, physical or digital, will ever work again. Now, many will argue that the PlayStation 4 store won't be going away for years. And yes, that is absolutely true. But eventually, it will be shut down. Remember, earlier this year, Sony had announced it was looking to sunset the PlayStation 3 store. But thanks to much backlash and outcry over this, they reversed their decision. But I might add, only temporarily, so let's be very clear on that, the PS3 store will eventually be sunset and the PlayStation 4 store will be next in line. Now this CMOS battery issue was raised back in March of this year by Twitter user Does It Play, as well as Lance McDonald, who corroborated and validated these claims. Now this will eventually become a pretty big deal because there is 100 plus million PS4s out there in the wild. And when that day comes, when the PS4 store goes down, then you better hope that your CMOS battery is still working. Otherwise, your game collection, your library of games, either digital or physical, will simply not work. But I do come with some good news, because today I read on Twitter that some users were saying that Sony had fixed the issue in the latest 9.00 firmware update. And I have to give them credit for this if this is true. But of course, I wanted to test this out for myself because I want to make sure that these things are indeed resolved. And to do this, what I did was I got a hold of one of my earlier PS4 models and used this as a test bed. Now, right now, it's running firmware 8.00 on it. And you'll note that it's not connected to the network and I can still install and play God of War on the console like you'd expect. And I played enough of the game where I actually got one of the trophies, the first one in the game. Now what I want to do is remove the CMOS battery inside the PS4, and we're doing this to simulate what happens if the battery dies. And basically, if you remove the CMOS battery or the battery dies, it's going to be the same result. Now, getting access to that battery means that we need to open up the PS4 and get access to the motherboard. Now, unfortunately, there's no real easy way to do this. There's no easy way to do this without opening up the internals. So even those people that want to replace the battery if theirs has died, they won't be able to do this easily unless they're experienced with taking systems apart. Now, tearing down a PS4 isn't hard to do, but this video is not a teardown. So if you want one, then I recommend you check out Modern Warfare's video, and I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. So we've taken apart the PlayStation 4 case, and this is the offending component. This is the CMOS battery. Now, eventually this CMOS battery will run out, and when it does, and when there is no connectivity to the PlayStation network, all physical media will be rendered useless. So then with the battery removed, what I did next was put the PS4 back together. Now, if you do this, be very sure to reapply thermal paste or thermal compound on the heatsink 
so it can get a good transfer of heat from the SOC and keep as cool as possible. Do not just reattach the PS4 heatsink back onto the SOC without reapplying any thermal compound. Otherwise, it's going to get really hot and potentially it could shut down due to overheating. Now, the next thing that I did was reconnect everything back together, but just enough to test this out. Now, if we launch God of War on the PS4, you'll note that we receive this error message. And no matter what we do, we can't actually get past this error message. If we try to change the date and time to today's date, it sadly makes no difference at all. With a dead CMOS battery and no connectivity to PSN to synchronize that internal system date and time clock, this PS4 is simply a brick. None of my games, physical or digital, will ever work. And you'll be seeing this error screen every single time. Now, this was the source of much outcry and concern from the community earlier this year. And again, right now, I want to stress it's not a big deal, but eventually it will be because millions of PS4s will never be able to play games again. But that is until recently. Sony's 9.00 firmware is reported to address this issue. So what I did next was I re-enabled connectivity to the internet and you'll note that the CMOS battery is still removed from this PS4. I never put it back into the system. But anyway, with 9.00 installed, I then let the system restart a few times like it normally would when you install a system update and make a note of the system time has been set back to 1969. But this time when we load into God of War, you'll note that it loads fine and it plays just fine. Now, one thing I did notice my trophy data had completely been erased. The trophy that I picked up when I was playing the game previously was not there. And I'm not sure if it just needs to synchronize to pull these trophies back from PSN, but for whatever reason, the trophy data here is not there. It was when we were on the 8.00 firmware, but when we updated to 9.00, it looks like the trophies had reset themselves. Now, one thing I didn't test was getting trophies with the CMOS battery removed, but according to Twitter user Destruction Games, they were able to earn trophies with the CMOS battery removed on 9.00, but you'll note that the update leaves the date and time when the trophy was earned blank. Now, one last test that I did with 9.00 was to install a physical game on the PS4 with the battery removed, and I wanted to make sure that you could still launch and play and the PS4 would install the trophy data correctly. And yes, it absolutely does. Everything appears to be addressed. So this is fantastic news. And I want to commend Sony for listening to their customers and addressing this issue. It's especially important considering there is still a lot more life in the PlayStation 4 right now, considering games like Horizon Forbidden West, God of War Ragnarok and Gran Turismo 7 are on the way for the PS4. And Sony still has a big commitment to PlayStation 4 users. So listening to customer feedback and providing this fix is a really cool thing. So great result. The PlayStation 4 will live on truly after the servers have gone down. You should be able to take any of your physical game collection and if you still have your digital games you know, on a USB drive or the ability to still play those digital games, all of those games in your PS4 library, whether it be physical or digital, can continue to be played well after the PSN store for the PlayStation 4 has long been sunset. And that is a fantastic result. But I just wanted to illustrate this issue that has been fixed and we have 100% confirmed that it's working. So for those people that are concerned about the C-bomb issue or the CMOS battery issue, don't be concerned any longer. Just get yourself updated to firmware 9.00 and that problem simply goes away. Now, if only we can get Xbox and Microsoft to fix their issues with DRM, but that's another story for another episode. For now, guys, we are going to leave it here. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. As always, if you liked it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.